Chiswick Book Festival 2018 and as always we'll be seeing a plethora of authors across the event. This year that includes Bryony Gordon and Nancy Tucker who will be talking about body image. Bryony Gordon and Nancy Tucker, um, you guys are about to do a talk on body image. How important is body image to yourselves? It is, I mean, it's everything I do, really. I was just discussing with Nancy, I just got this email from someone telling me that um, I was too fat to run a marathon and that I would probably wilt at mile 12. And I was like, I've actually already run two marathons. Um, one of them in my underwear to prove exactly that, that point. Um, yeah, it's, I think social media is really interesting because on the one hand, it gives these sort of quite unrealistic, filtered versions of ourselves. But on the other hand, what it allows you to do is see a, real, a really wide range of people. You know, that's how Tess Holliday shot to prominence. It wasn't, you know, she wasn't picked out. It was because she created this F your beauty standards yeah. hashtag and, you know, got millions of followers. And then, then she's put into the mainstream media. So it's kind of everything has its you know it's classes and it's it's negatives yeah. you know so yeah. and i also have to say amazing for running two marathons i mean how did it feel um i loved the first one the first one was really fun the second one which was a year a year later it was really hot and oh. even though i was wearing no clothes it was still <laughs> it was i was a bit more complacent because i was like i've already done a marathon i don't have to do quite as much training and i was like but like no i love i love running and um you know and, and if i can do it anyone can and how about yourself, Nancy, as well? Um, when did you first become aware of your own body image? Well, I kind of don't remember a time when I wasn't really aware of my own body, even as a child, being quite overweight when I was younger. And then that awareness, for me, it developed into an eating disorder around a kind of preteen age, um, which was with me kind of all through the rest of my adolescence, still with me now, really. You know, it's still something I really struggle with. Yeah. Um, and that kind of intense body awareness, I remember it from when I was a child, and it's still, you know, it's probably the first thing I think about when I wake up in the morning. Mm. It's still, it's very kind of ever-present um, in everything I do, everything I kind of think. Absolutely. Do you think it's something that children should be taught a lot more about in schools as well? I certainly think children should be taught more about mental health in general in schools, yeah. 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 Excellent. Well, I can't wait to see your talk, guys. Uh, good luck with it. Yeah, thank you. thank you. So, as always, it's been a fantastic event with so many different topics covered and authors from across the genres.